Jansand is a sandbank in the Wadden Sea on the coast of Germany. The steady rhythm of the tides strongly influences life in the sediment of Jansand. At low tide, Jansand falls dry and we can observe processes usually only occurring in the deep sea. We are particularly interested in the transition from the oxic zone, where oxygen is present, to the anoxic zone, where all the oxygen is used up. Organisms that breathe oxygen, just like we do, live in the oxic zone. Once all the oxygen is used up, we find organisms breathing nitrate. Nitrate contains nitrogen. As cells cannot exist without nitrogen, it is very important to know how much of it is used and produced. Let's take a closer look at the nitrogen cycle. When breathing nitrate, the organisms turn nitrate into nitrite. Nitrite then turns into nitrogen gas, which makes up most of the atmosphere. This process is called denitrification. To understand it better, we study three different spots in the Wadden Sea. How many and which organisms live there? Do they breathe nitrogen or oxygen? At high tide, the sand flat is covered by water that is rich in oxygen and nitrate. The motion of the water drives this oxygen and nitrate into the sediment where microorganisms use them to breathe. Later in the laboratory, we can observe how fast the oxygen and nitrogen in this sediment are used up. Charles Schutter, Dirk de Baer, and their colleagues from the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology want to find out which processes regulate the nitrogen cycle in the Wadden Sea. Microsensors can measure how much oxygen is present in the sediment. We can see how quickly the oxygen disappears. This is how we learn how many microorganisms there are that breathe oxygen. In another experiment, we want to find out more about the microorganisms that breathe nitrate. We add special nitrate to the cores. This nitrate is isotopically labeled. That means that it contains one nitrogen atom that is slightly heavier than the nitrogen atoms in natural nitrate. If the heavier molecule is used, all of the emerging products like nitrite and nitrogen gas will also be labeled. We can stop the reaction at different points in time to see how much nitrate is used in which intervals. Now we can calculate how fast the nitrogen cycle turns in the sediment and how many nitrate-breathing organisms exist. Over-fertilization is a big problem in the ocean, bringing lots of anthropogenic nitrate into the water on top of the natural nitrate. Nitrogen filters like Jansan play a very important role in reducing the amount of nitrogen that makes it into the ocean.